Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're uh, putting coilovers on a 2000 BMW 323i. This is uh, what I got right here. They're completely adjustable. These are the G Sport ones. These are the rear. And they also came with uh, these bad boys right here. As you can see, I already pulled one out, and that's the main reason why uh, I was replacing them. These old ones were all broken, so every time I would go over a bump, it would feel really nasty, and you could hear the loudness. This side is also broken. I had a chunk come out of this side, but I already replaced one on this side, and it wasn't bad at all. So... Um, what I'm going to do right now is just make short little clips of how I'm doing this, just in case anybody wants to do this on a BMW. Okay, so I went ahead and I jacked up my car. Um, the tire is uh, stuck on there. So the next thing you want to do, if this happens to you, grab a rubber mallet and just smack it a few times in the back and smack it, I would smack it like right here make sure you're using jack stands like I am over there you don't want this heavy car falling on you and smack the other side a little bit and this car has a lot of salt under here and there it is so the next thing to do, you can see the spring right here, look at this thing, it's like, I could probably pull it out without doing anything, that's how, how bad it is. Okay, the next thing you want to do is loosen up this bolt that's right here, and I believe that's uh, number 18. I'm using this huge extension only because it's jammed up in there and I don't want to bother oh, wrong one. fucking around with it right now righty tighty lefty loosey hold on this fucker so it's loose right now the next step you want to do is you want to put uh, the jack right here and jack this up just a little bit and um, the only thing holding this one now is two bolts on the top um, I think they're in number 13's and basically hold on You're gonna have to go in here. And you see this bump right here. This bump, you have to tear in there with something. With anything, just grab a screwdriver. You just shove it in there. Start cutting this thing up. Otherwise, it's a bitch to get all this thing off. So, this is like the easiest way to do it. And there it is. It's got one bolt here and one here. Once you take those off, the whole thing drops. 
Okay, so before I put my new one in there, um, you want to remove the spring if you're removing the springs. So basically, all you got to do is just push on here and the spring falls off. You might need a second person. Like I said, I was missing a chunk right here. So they could help you. Okay. So when you install these springs, if you're doing the coilovers, what you want to do is this is how they're going to be going in. Just like this. Just how you see it, like that, it's how it's going to go in. It's not like a Honda that it's got the sleeve upside down. No. It's going to go in like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this all the way to the back. Okay. To give me all the room I could, could have. And then I'll adjust it correctly. And then, so you can see that bushing right there. That bump has to go in here into this hole. But it might not want to go in right now. So what you want to do after you assemble everything, put the tire back on, and uh, go ahead and just uh, put the jack underneath the control arm and jack it up. And it'll go right into that bushing. It'll slip right in there. So let me go ahead and bump this in here. You have to use your foot. Whatever works. And actually, I was supposed to uh, do the top first and then slide the bottom in, but I did it backwards. So I know this is probably like a horrible video. I'm trying to do my best because I don't have a help or anything. Let me see if I put the phone here, so you guys can see a little bit better. Hold on. Oh, this fucker wants to fall. Here, I'll just put it in, and I'll make a second part of this video. Okay, so there it is. It's in. Basically, uh, just bounce this up and down, and it'll slip right in. I had to use both hands to do that. And like I told you, this bottom bushing, you see how it's like sticky out a little? It won't slip in. So basically what you do is put the jack underneath, and... You can either jack up the whole car so all that weight goes on there and it slips in or um, you could drive it around maybe that'll help it a little but the best way is to put the jack and bounce it up and down a few times and if I'll slip it right in there let's go ahead and remove these two uh, screws these two nuts that are up there and drop this so I went ahead and I got it off um, the next thing you want to do if you're reusing this, then go ahead and remove this nut right here. You can use some pliers and hold that in place while you spin the nut. Um, I don't remember what this size is, but I'll take a look right now. And also, if you want to use your dust shield, you can. And you definitely need to use this right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove it right now and I'll show you guys. Okay, so basically I found out this one's a 16 and I'm using, what is this, a quarter to hold this right here. A quarter is the size. And basically what you do is you put that in there and then use the other tool to use, like hold it in place. You got to use both hands for this. And when you do, it starts to come off. So let me go ahead and remove it. Basically the only thing I'm going to reuse is this right here. And I'm not going to use the dust shield. I'm going to just remove this right here. I'm going to reuse that. And also this right here. I'm going to reuse it. And man, that's a lot of salt that's on there. But either way, that's the only things I'm going to reuse, and then this is trash. So there you go. 
it's reassembled. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there, put it through the hole. And if you don't have somebody to help you hold this up, just compress it. You put the phone down so I can do this. Okay, so right there, all I did was just put it on top of there, and let's go ahead and put the bolts on and uh, tighten them up. Okay, so now you use that method to uh, start up your screws. You go ahead and release this and make sure your screws are tightened on the top, your bolts I mean. And what you want to do is put the jack right here and jack it up like I told you when I first started the video. Um, to put the jack right there and that's going to help raise this control arm so you could uh, put the screw back in there. The right here so let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like and make sure you put your tires back on and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay so right here the suspension is slammed all the way you might have to uh, adjust it which is what I'm gonna do but I'm not gonna adjust it yet until I get the front suspension in So you could obviously see the front, it looks like it went up so much and it's because uh, it's sitting at an angle right now. So I'm going to go ahead and post these videos up and I'll do part two as a separate video of uh, the front suspension going in.